the space game, where you step into a new world and you get that feeling of unlimited possibilities. What if we could take that feeling of being who you want to be and exploring a new world, but set it in space, where you weren't really limited in where you could go or what you could do? And that is Starfield. But it's still a Bethesda RPG through and through. But this time, it's not just one world. It's over a thousand worlds. Because the choice of where to go, it's not ours, it's yours. Todd Howard has done it again. I haven't been this hyped for a game since the release of Destiny 2. This game was not anywhere near my radar. I was not paying any attention. I saw the showcase in 2022 and it was a bit lackluster. Combat seemed a little slow. They seem to be making all of these promises that they couldn't really back up with their footage here. But boy, let me tell you, when they dropped this Starfield Direct and after the Xbox showcase this year, mind blown. This is their largest game to date. And it's also their first new universe in over 25 years. That's right, 25 years, almost as long as I've been alive. There's over a thousand worlds to explore uh, with next gen lighting that promises to cast shadows based on the atmosphere and, and give you these cinematic views, cool new weapons and armor that you can upgrade along the way. And of course, they also give you a ship to explore all of this space in that is fully customizable. And let me tell you fully, you can deck this thing out however you want to run different missions. You can have multiple ships, you can purchase ships, and of course, you can even pirate ships. Yeah, that's right. We'll come back to that later. Not only does this Direct showcase so many fantastic things about the game and all the claims that Bethesda is making Todd Howard himself, which we all know uh, you can't always take his word at face value. I mean, look at Fallout 76. It is four times the size of Fallout 4. It allows us to have 16 times the detail. But before we get too far into it, this game comes out in three months. It comes out the beginning of September. And if you're looking to prepare yourself to play this game when it comes out, why don't you check out Starforge Systems through the link in the description or the QR code on screen. There you will see all of the options that Starforge provides. And if you purchase a system using one of these affiliate links, you will help support the channel as well as upgrading your PC to take on a whole new galaxy. So in this showcase, we see them show off quite a bit about the universe. Uh, some of the things that we can determine is that there is no other known intelligent life in the universe that has been found so far. It does show alien wildlife, like different creatures that you might find on different planets. Uh, but as far as intelligent life, humans are the only ones so far. They do intertwine some sort of mystery about these ancient artifacts that seem to imply that there should be other intelligent life out there, but we'll have to play the game in order to figure that one out. We know there's going to be areas that are like space westerns with cowboys and and things along that nature. We also know that there are going to be these pleasure cities that pretty much anything that you might want to do for pleasure exists. And of course, there are also going to be other areas that are overrun by pirates. And yes, you can be a pirate. In the showcase, they show that you can actually board other ships after you disable them in space. And if you kill the entire crew, you can claim the ship as your own. How cool is that? Now, in the direct, they do go over this robust character creation system. And they go on for a big deal about that. But the footage that is shown um, doesn't really show anything too crazy or out there or, or you know, or unrealistic. Uh, you can change body type, your walk pattern between... Uh, two different ones it looks like some different face things now they did say that they actually scanned a bunch of people's actual faces and then kind of mix and matched the different pieces in order to create the characters in the game which is kind of interesting and cool so it'll be interesting to see how some of the NPCs look in the game if we see a bunch of repeats or if they're able to actually have enough variety amongst them that you don't really see two characters that look too much alike and then of course they even show that during the customer creation section of the thing, you can 
uh, you can choose traits and the one that they highlight here the adoring fan trait is just an absolute hilarious throwback to the oblivion days of the adoring fan at the coliseum i can't believe i get to stand near you breathing the same air i've got to have every molecule and they even hint at ways of getting rid of some of these traits uh, as you play the game if you get tired of them uh, which was pretty funny and uh, might be something actually worth taking on. Now, a couple other cool things about the showcase that they showed off was the ship customization that you can experience. Not only can you purchase different ships, like we mentioned earlier, you can board and pretty much pirate steal other ships, but you can fully customize them and they show in the trailer, they blow it up, uh, break down all of the different components and just show how truly you can customize them. They even show a funny looking mech suit, kind of looks like uh, Optimus Prime or, or some kind of weird uh, squished Gundam character or something. They do also show the space combat with some of the ships as you're going through. They offer a power allocation system where you can allocate your power differently between engines, shields and weapons, things like that. Very much reminded me of Star Wars Squadrons, which I did play a little bit of recently. Hop back on just to see how, how that game was doing. And it's not doing well. But I can see a lot of different bits and pieces that they've taken from other sci-fi space game, all just kind of brought together in a nice, unique package. Um, definitely lots of similarities to uh, No Man's Sky uh, with the mining of resources and things on the planet as you visit. We can also uh, look forward to experiencing different levels of gravity on different planets based on their size, etc. Uh, it does show some portions where we will get to experience zero gravity as well. And they showed a cool feature where if you're shooting a kinetic weapon, you'll have a lot of uh, force blowing you backwards in zero gravity. But if you're shooting energy weapons, you actually don't experience any of that. So they've, they've really kind of thought about how they want these systems to work together. And I think that they've brought it together in a pretty good look, looking package. And I'm pretty excited. On nearly any planet you go to, you can also just start setting up an outpost. They have a really good outpost system where you can go top down, set up the structure how you want, and then you can go inside and kind of interact with the, the inside of your base. Um, you can set up different modules for crafting and doing different things, resource gathering, things like that on any planet that you go to. And you can even hire a crew to run these bases while you're gone. Um, so I bet there's going to be people going out there and setting up outposts everywhere they go and just running a space empire. And, you know, more power to you. I don't have the time for that. I'm going to be a space pirate, let's be honest. With over a thousand worlds out there, uh, we know that there's going to be some that are more exciting than others and others that probably don't have a lot going on. They even said so in the Starfield Direct um, that hopefully people will be able to find solitude in some of the more quiet planets. And they kind of seem to have a, a combo of procedural generation to generate all of these planets and then dropping in these handcrafted elements that they've made along the way to kind of give you side quests and things to explore while you're on the planets. Um, they even said that if two players go to the same planet, they're not gonna experience the exact same events and things like that. So there's going to be uh, some uniqueness to each playthrough and with so many different planets, um, it'll be really exciting to see how everyone plays the game and where they take their journey. It really does sound like there's going to be a lot offered here. Um, and I truly am just impressed by this game. I can't, I can't seem to, to get it out of my head and I'm so looking forward to its release. Before the end of the showcase, they did also show off the watch that you can get from the collector's edition, which I'm pretty sure is already sold out. Um, but then they also have a fancy new Xbox controller, which looks all right, uh, kind of customized by the ship, you know, Starfield kind of designs. But the uh, custom headset actually looks pretty cool with the volume knob being the entire ear cup turning, things like that. Uh, it looked like a pretty cool custom set um, in case anybody's looking for that sort of thing. But the last and most important thing um, that's good news for a lot of people is that this game is going to be available on day one with Game Pass. So if you are already subscribed to Game Pass or you don't have the money to purchase the game outright, you can subscribe to Game Pass uh, for the month of September. And boom, as soon as the game launches, you'll be able to play it. 
Um, and that way, if there's some bugs or if the game ends up not working out the way that you hoped, you're not out the full price of the game. It's a fantastic deal. You should definitely check it out as a means to play this game if you have an Xbox or are able to get the Xbox Game Pass subscription. And I hope you enjoyed that video. And if you're looking for some more videos from me, why don't you check out uh, the Redfall video over here and you can see what a bad game release looks like. See you next time.